welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about saving fringes and fringe groups. One powerful feature in Gorilla is the ability to save fringes, so you can use them in a different budget. Fringes are saved in fringe groups, and the entire group can be saved to a file. Let's load a fringe group. In the Saved Budgets folder, you will find a My Fringes folder. There are two sample fringe group save files in this folder. To load one, go to the Fringe Groups screen. Select the Import a Saved Fringe Group button. You will see a message that tells you to load a fringe group file. Navigate to the My Fringes folder and load the fringe group. In this sample, there are four fringes. Three of them are fringe percentages, and one of them is a flat rate fringe. To activate a fringe, in other words, to load it into the current budget, select the Activate Fringe button for that fringe. The check mark will indicate that this fringe is activated in the budget. Let's check. Go to a detail line item and select the fringe column. Here in this list, you will see the fringe loaded from that fringe group, which you can now attach to any detail line item. Go back to the fringe groups screen. Let's add a couple more fringes to this group and then save this group to a file. By adding a fringe here, you are adding it to the fringe group sample fringes. I'm going to add a couple more quick fringes. And then save the group. If this checkbox down here is checked, the fringe group will automatically be saved in the My Fringes folder. Once saved, you can send this file to another Gorilla user so that they can load all those saved fringes and use them in their budgets. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.